The Bear Access XTR is the most connected shoe we've ever built. We've been talking to a lot of different runners and we've been running with a lot of people. And one of the things that we were seeking out was a shoe that would get us closer to the ground, give us good comfort and great traction, but be really lightweight and flexible. The whole idea of being close to the ground is gonna give you a lot more feedback. More feedback just allows you to understand what you're doing and really understand where you are in space. And that allows you to become a better runner. The nature of nature is it's always changing. On the trail, you need to be able to feel good ground connection so you can move as the changing trail moves too. It's that sweet spot in between great ground connection and comfort. It's a great example of our all I need design philosophy. So the all I need design philosophy is all based around giving you only what you need to experience the profound power of the trail. We've got all the know-how from 30 years of making hiking boots. We understand traction really well, we understand cushioning and protection, and now we're really starting to understand connection. We have a brand new Vibram outsole, so it's a very durable, very grippy three millimeter lug on the bottom. It's a shoe that has zero drop to it, so it keeps you on a neutral platform when you're connected to the train. We have a cushioned foam midsole giving you some protection and cushioning. We bring in our Flex Connect technology, which is a series of flex grooves that allow the shoe to flex both upwards and downwards to the terrain. Very lightweight, very flexible, giving you a lot of cushion and a lot of connection. Sometimes when you pick up a new pair of shoes, it's that kind of excuse to go hit the trail, and we love that. And We want to give you the lightest, most flexible, most connected product to do that. The project was born because of the request from our athletes to add a new style to our ultra long distance category. The biggest challenge was to add the needed cushioning to the style without losing the requested stability. From a development point of view, it was really necessary to understand what the athletes need to perform well in a ultra long distance race. And this information, of course, we gathered through a close collaboration with all of our athletes. An ultra runner really needs a combination of a lot of comfort. So the Jekyll here, uh, it's a shoe really dedicated for the long distance runner. So when you're running long distances, uh, the thing you really want to avoid is having extra weight. And we've been able to bring the Jekyll down to a weight of 300 grams, which is uh, really impressive. But we're talking about ultra trail running, so they also need a good amount of stability in the shoe. And of course, we're running over every type of terrain uh, in nature, so from rocks to mud and to harder surfaces, as well as in forest trails. The Jackal's midsole is composed by three different elements. We have a main EVA body providing the lightness, providing stability, and of course, the Infinito inserts on the inside doing the cushioning. The outsole features a all-ground lug design using our impact brake system technology and is made with our Red X Friction double compound rubber. We were deeply inspired by the mindset of the ultra athlete and wanted to create the perfect tool helping them to face their challenges and push their limits. The Ultra King MT 1.5 is named after the highest point in Utah, King's Peak. And Ultra really likes to excel and get to the top. And that's what this shoe does. It is kind of the extreme trail shoe from Ultra. The way we do that is through multiple levels. Starting with the outsole, this is Ultra's most aggressive outsole. It's using Vibram Mega Grip. It's got our traditional uh, trail claw outsole, multi downhill lugs, uphill lugs, strongest canted lugs right here over the metatarsal joints. Over over six millimeters in depth here. Uh, it is really going through mud, scree, just really nasty conditions. It does have Ultra's Ego midsole compound, so it's gonna be soft, it's gonna be energy return, and it's very, very durable. It does have a stone guard throughout the shoe, which gives it a little bit more rigidity than most of the other trail shoes of this low profile. The upper has TPU overlays throughout that are scattered through. It's gonna give it a really secure fit and fill as well as added durability. The Velcro strap is fantastic on the top. This is for those of you who are doing steeplechase runs or mud runs, and you need to adjust on the fly based on the uphill or or downhill or the conditions that the shoe gets through. So that's there to customize. It wraps all the way down to the side here, so you're able to get a really custom midfoot wrap that you can adjust during the run. 
I like to call this shoe Ultra's off-trail trail shoe, right? This is gonna excel in mud, in scree, in peak bagging, fell running, really nasty, gnarly conditions. Of course, it has Ultra's gator trap, the Velcro on the back so you can put gators over the shoe and connect it to keep a lot of those rocks and dust and debris and so forth out of the shoe. But really, when you're going through con trail conditions that require an extreme shoe, that's the Ultra King MT 1.5. three distinct versions so you can choose your own adventure. The Peregrine 10 features aggressive lugs made of power track rubber to dig in and confidently attack a wide variety of terrains. For those runners who like to get muddy, we built Peregrine ST with deeper directional power track lugs and enhanced water resistance to handle soft terrain. And finally, we have the Peregrine 10 Gore-Tex for those runners who like running in the rain but hate wet feet. So for any terrain you want to tackle, the Peregrine 10 has got you covered. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Speedcross 5. Trail runners who want confidence, grip, and stability with the performance features of a running shoe will reap the benefits of the next generation of the iconic Speedcross franchise with the Speedcross 5. This high performance shoe has been enhanced for stability and performance, allowing you to go the distance on the trail. The Speedcross 5 is supportive enough for all day wear, yet dynamic enough for precision footwork. One of the most recognizable features of the Speedcross is its unique tread pattern. This shoe features deep, penetrating chevron lugs with updated geometry to improve the grip and durability on even the most technical terrain. The lugs are arranged directionally to provide uphill and downhill traction as needed. The lugs are constructed from our ContraGrip formula, a durable rubber compound which helps reduce the risk of slipping even on the slickest surfaces. The spacing between the lugs allow water and mud to drain away from the sole of the shoe. Now, let's talk about the upper of the shoe. The completely welded upper of the Speedcross 5 is overlasted around the midsole, providing a sleek design and superb foothold. The Speedcross 5 is also equipped with SensiFit technology. The SensiFit really acts as a big hand that wraps around your instep that helps secure your foot to the shoe. This gives the shoe integrity to provide great foothold and secure the foot inside the shoe, even and difficult, uneven terrain. This shoe is also equipped with our Quick Lace technology. Quick Lace is four times stronger than a traditional lace, so you don't have to worry about these babies breaking when you're in the backcountry. For convenience, we've actually created a lace garage inside the shoe where you can stuff the lace lock as well as the excess lace. So a few things that we've changed on the Speedcross 5 is going to be this hill construction. The midsole of this shoe is Energy Cell Plus. This provides great rebound and cushioning, as well as stability. One thing you'll notice with the Speedcross 5 is the heel's a little bit higher up on the shoe. What that does is as you step inside the shoe, it provides additional stability in the heel cup area. The Speedcross 5 is also equipped with the rubber toe cap. This provides protection from rocks and roots and other debris that you may encounter along the trail. Another thing that we've upgraded on the Speedcross 5 is the mesh. On prior versions, we had a ripstop nylon material. Here we've gone to a closed mesh that's a little bit more comfortable on the foot and also adds a little bit more stretch, just improving the overall performance of the shoe. So if you want grip on all types of terrain without adding bulk that compromises your precision and speed, the Speedcross 5 is the shoe for you. Heading up to that pass. Isolation still kind of insane. It's like that whole wall. There's my Abbey buried. We're heading over to that pass over there. Got some sort of peanut butter flavored treat. 
little bit of weather. But it's raining. Out running some storms here. Abby's still a little bit cold, but less cold than she was before. We just brought like really light windbreakers because the forecast said it was going to be like uh, 50 degrees. Here we are at the gates of Mordor and it's completely stormy. So we're heading home. I'm taking this blanket with me though. Hi, I'm Tony Post. I'm the founder and CEO of Topo Athletic, and today we're here to talk about a new shoe called the Mountain Racer. Now, as somebody who's been a trail runner for probably almost 40 years, uh, this is a real favorite for me. So I love this shoe. I want to take you through all the features. First of all, we start with a Vibram outsole here using the Vibram Mega Grip compound. Uh, Mega Grip is a really strong slip resistance compound, high performance, best in wet conditions. The lug design through this sole has nice wide spacing, but still enough surface area. The spacing allows for good mud and snow release, but surface area so you've got traction where you need it. It does not feature a rock plate. This platform is thick enough that you really don't need it and it helps to keep the weight down. It's a three-piece injected EVA midsole. Total stack height is 30 millimeters in the back, 25 in the front. So it's a five millimeter heel to toe drop. Those three pieces of EVA are high rebound injected EVA through the body. A little softer EVA for when you're doing downhills and you're striking on that lateral heel on a steep downhill. It just helps you transition through the gait cycle a little better. And then a little firmer EVA here on the medial side that again, just kind of helps to keep you secure and comfortable up over the platform itself. This is a ripstop mesh upper. The ripstop mesh is a little more secure, won't have a lot of stretch, so it's gonna keep you secure over the platform. Fully gusseted tongue on the inside. The uh, tongue you see here is padded up where the lacing is, but we removed the padding at the top just to keep that top a little softer and more flexible when you're going uphill and your tendon is pushing directly into that tongue. It's a little more comfortable. Also features our gaiter attachment. We have a new performance gaiter. You want to check it out for use with this particular shoe, the new performance gaiter from Topo Athletic. One other interesting feature you'll see here, the drainage ports allow water if it gets inside to escape more quickly, so it allows water to get out also draws air back in, so helps the shoe dry out a little more quickly. The women's shoe in a size seven weighs in at just 7.7 .7 ounces, and the men's size nine that you see here weighs in at just 9.3 ounces. Great new trail running product. I'm super excited. I hope you will be too. One of my favorites, the new Mountain Racer from Topo Athletic.